morning, Catawba Ridge. It's time for your copper. Heads up. It's Wednesday, January 18th, and that means we're already halfway through the week. Okay, if you missed the basketball games or the wrestling match last night, don't worry. I have the updates for you. Our basketball teams faced off against Lancaster last night. The girls got an early lead and it led them to the win 64 to 43. Brielle Windich led the team with 20 points. Our boys were ahead in the first half, but slowly lost the lead after halftime. It ended with a loss 61 to 65. Zion Hager and Lance Barnes both had 14 points. Our wrestling team won their try match against Buford with a score of 59 to nine and Lancaster with 43 to 26. So a new store just opened in TKK, but it has some pretty super ties to Catawba Ridge. Take a look. From classic comics, to valuable vinyls, TKK has recently become home to a comic book store that is a nostalgia haven for formal collectors of all ages, an element of this small town that has been missing for quite some time. When we moved here, we started kind of talking about it because we realized Fort Mill doesn't have a comic book store or really sports cards or anything like collectible. You have to go to Rock Hill or go into Charlotte. Hopefully we will uh, be in this business for a while. Collecting Problems opened its store on January 4th, and the smiling face you're welcomed in with is a familiar face at Catawba Ridge, our very own Mrs. Seibert. For her and her husband, Steve Seibert, opening up this shop was no small feat, but these two passionate business owners hope that their love for their product can generate success. Um, what inspired me to open this store was really just um being a fan of a little bit of everything. I've always collected things like movies, music, and the comics kind of brought this nostalgia aspect to it that uh, I really enjoyed. Uh, we're off to a pretty promising start. You know, I'd like to see it become a well-known location in the town and you know, something that sticks around. Whether it's wartime stories, 1980s action figures, or the latest Pokemon booster packs, this store has it all but the location does more than trade on old memories. So I'm doing a ton of learning all about comics um, and just, I mean, I think they're really cool because they've been around since like, well actually they came about because of World War One because people wanted superheroes to look up to to make America like feel safe. In today's world, Comic books have become a staple for most children's reading nooks, and as these timeless classics continue to make their way to the big screen, both Cyberts hope that their joy for collecting will inspire the next generation to keep comics alive. I just want to give them a place to be able to find things they like. You know, there's definitely a social aspect to it I think is really cool as well. The store, it applies to everyone because all ages like to collect. It's just a matter of what <laughs> they like to collect. I just think building a sense of community based around these different things that people like to collect is what's, um, what I would like to get out of it. For CRN TV, I'm Skylar Torrey. Thank you to Skylar and Sophia for bringing us that story. And if you're interested in collecting comic books or just showing your support, the store is open Wednesday to Sunday, 11 to 7. Okay, I have one last announcement. To all you Beta Club people, you have a mandatory meeting today during Flex. It's the third Wednesday of every month, and guess what? That's today. Also, there's a book club meeting in Miss LaFave's room during Flex as well. I guess that's it for me. For CRN TV, I'm Talia Posto.